Hello, welcome to PC Jack. Recent leaks and rumours have arrived claiming a significant change to AMD's upcoming AM5 socket. Let's talk about it. So, this week, I finally got a new haircut. No, over the last few days, a rumour has arrived regarding AMD making a big change to its current socket type. Twitter user ExecutableFix claims that AMD will be switching from a PGA socket to an LGA socket for its upcoming Zen 4 CPUs. More specifically, this would be LGA1718, with support for dual channel memory on DDR5 on the brand new 600 series chipset. This would also include support for PCIe Gen 4 and not Gen 5, which is not too surprising as we haven't fully saturated Gen 4 speeds quite yet. This would mean that these changes would be in place for AMD's upcoming Zen 4 lineup, reportedly codenamed Raphael. There's no official word from AMD on these uh, rumours, but uh, it's still an interesting prospect to consider as we are approaching some new hardware changes. But for those of you who are not aware what PGA or LGA is, it's pretty simple, so here's what you need to know. Starting with PGA, or Pin Grid Array, this simply means that the pins are located on the CPU rather than on the motherboard socket. This has been pretty commonly used by AMD over the last few years, with the exception of their Threadripper and Epic CPUs, which instead use LGA. Some of the advantages are that it's easier to install your CPU and line it up with the motherboard socket. This does mean that CPUs with pins are a lot more fragile than CPUs without pins, but with some extra care and uh, steady hands you can uh, actually fix them most of the time. Now, there are also disadvantages to this socket type, which I have actually mentioned in my previous video on uh, how to install and uninstall the Wraith Stealth cooler. As the CPU is held in specifically by the socket's retention, it is possible when uninstalling a CPU cooler to pull it entirely out of the socket. This could potentially bend the pins or even worse, break the pins off entirely. It is an issue which has plagued AMD for many years now, but uh, with some extra care it's uh, totally avoidable when uninstalling your cooler. But it is still a pain. On the flip side, an LGA socket, or LAN grid array, actually means that the pins are located in the motherboard socket directly and instead make contact with pads underneath the CPU. This is most commonly used on Intel CPUs, but also has some advantages and disadvantages when compared to PGA. One advantage is due to the retention mechanism in place for an LGA socket, where the CPU is actually held completely in place, meaning that you can't rip it out when uninstalling your cooler. However, as there are no pins on the CPU, it can be a little bit more challenging installing your CPU and making sure it lines up correctly with the pins underneath. Having the pins on the motherboard, however, much like having pins on a CPU, does also mean that it's also fragile and it's actually a bit more challenging to repair when compared to a CPU pin. Basically, there are pros and cons to both of these socket types, but it's interesting that AMD are seemingly thinking about switching over to LGA for their upcoming releases. There's even another socket type called BGA, or Ball Grid Array, but it's most commonly used by OEMs for mobile processors where it's actually soldered directly to the board. But that's a topic for a whole other video. We don't have too much info on all this yet, but uh, thought it'd be interesting to take a look at what we know so far based on this rumour. As we progress through the year, we'll uh, certainly see some more details trickling out from AMD regarding their upcoming Zen 4 release. So, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, then please feel free to like and subscribe for more videos on the way soon. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.